New tonight, an official endorsement for Salt Lake City's bid to host a second Winter Olympics. That came today from the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee. And while their endorsement remains flexible, the committee said it would prefer Salt Lake to host the 2034 rather than 2030 Games because of the logistical problems it would pose for the 2028 Los Angeles Summer Olympics. Not sure what those logistics are, but I'm sure they have their reasons, okay. right? <laughs> That's not all, though. Today was also a big day for Utah Olympics for a second reason. Another sport has decided to move its national headquarters right here to the state of Utah, which only helps build on our bid for a future Olympic Games. Olympic specialist Alex Cabrero says it might make the sport of biathlon bigger than it is right now. If there was ever a sport that defined Utah, it just might be skiing. Then again, some might say target shooting. So it's kind of interesting why, when you combine the two, biathlon isn't more popular in Utah. However, that could soon change. Well, we're pretty thrilled. Luke Bodensteiner was about as excited as one can get when it was officially announced today U.S. Biathlon is moving its headquarters from Maine to Utah and will be based at Soldier Hollow, where he's the general manager. It just means that, you know, we've really developed or even redeveloped this facility to be something that, you know, an organization like U.S. Biathlon, who's aiming to be the best in the world, feels at home here and feels supported here. Soldier Hollow is where the 2002 Salt Lake Winter Olympics biathlon competitions were held. It's also currently getting a big upgrade to attract even more World Cup type biathlon competitions. It just made sense for the sport's national governing body to look at you, Tom, when it was time to find a new home. Right, we have a, an unbelievable economy here in Utah that was super attractive to them as they look to build their organization, develop sponsors. Um, we obviously are in process on bidding for an Olympics. That's a big deal for them. And they can really feel that momentum. They can feel the appreciation here locally for Olympic sport. Biathlon will be the fourth Olympic sport based in Utah, following U.S. ski and snowboarding, U.S. speed skating, and USA climbing. It just adds to Utah's Olympic legacy as we continue to bid for a future Winter Games. There's no doubt that we're committed to the legacy. You know, in my opinion, we've done a remarkable job. We're one of the one of the most successful former Olympic cities in terms of perpetuating that that uh, bid. In fact, Bodensteiner also told us that the best female and male biathlon athletes were here at Soldier Hollow recently, and they said with this facility being built here, as well as U.S. Biathlon making the move here, they say that the sky is the limit for what U.S. Biathlon can become. At Soldier Hollow, Alex Cabrero, KSL 5 News.